Hello everybody. It's, uh, I don't know what today is, but time to change the oil and I can't remember if I made a complete video on it or not, but I promised a couple people that the next time I change the oil on my mower that uh, I would show them the underside of my deck and basically how I paint it with motor oil. I may have done this in a video before and if I have and this is just a repeat then I apologize but that's kind of what I'm going to do. It, um, it was about time. I changed it about twice a year on it. It was changed before I put it away and uh, well, it's not even June yet, so we'll do that. And uh, when I change oil, I take the air filter out, clean it. That's already been cleaned. Um, make sure the air box is cleaned. I also take uh, compressed air here with my. Um, let's see where it won't focus. My little one gallon or half gallon air compressor and uh, blow the dirt out of the shroud and off the fins and all that but you know it's a uh, Tecumseh TVS 90 and it's a uh, first pull starter every time it's not hot and humid out it's rather cool now um, but when it's hot and humid does not need primed starter fluid nothing one pull and it goes so enough rambling I'm gonna flip it over here in a little bit and scrape what little grass that's there off as you can see, there's not much, if any, rust under here. Bare metal. Um, and as far as the grass, just from the past month, just this little bit. And that just comes off that easy. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and slap a couple coats of oil on it. As you can see, there really is, aside from right here, a little bit of surface rust, and a little bit right in here, none. And they usually rot out right up in here, in here, in the back here where the arms have connected. But as you can see, I used a piece of pipe I got from a uh, hot water heater, bolted it on here, and then bolted it onto the handle there. So that fixed both sides. Everything's still solid. So all I'm going to do is take the pan of oil and a very old brush and uh, slap on some coats. Just a little quick uh, video clip here. I'm not going to sit here and videotape the whole thing, but get an old dirty paint brush and just like you're painting it with a brush, get some oil on it like that and just start painting it. Now if you see it run, it's like when you're painting with paint, you got a little too much, so spread it out and uh, keep working on it. After you're done smearing, a, you know, just a, not really liberal, but enough. After spreading a little bit of oil on it, a couple coats around, um, I usually let it sit because the extra will run down in here like it is. That way you really won't have any dripping, you know, when you push it back in its corner. Probably get some, but I do this when it's near empty on gas and when the oil is empty after I've changed it. Because then you can just flip it upside down and leave it however you want. But as you can see, I coated everything. And yeah, it attracts a little bit of dirt, but guess what? No rust. Those bolts come off easy, and it's easy to work on. She's all done. Back together. Got the filter cleaned, and a few drops of oil in the uh, filter element, as recommended. Hmm, <laughs> a little bit of problem here. Uh, slipped a little bit of MMO in the crankcase oil and I always put a little bit in the fuel when I get it. Seems to help keep the 
uh, E10 fuel from going stale that quick. And it also helps the engine run better. It's all coated underneath, remove most of the excess. Wiped her off, cleaned the plug, and uh, ready to mow.